for maximal muscular growth, it is paramount that you choose exercises which feature peak tension at the start of the range of motion, when the target muscle fibers are relatively long. You do not want to pick exercises which feature peak tension at the end of the range of motion, when the target muscle fibers are relatively short. To make this concept crystal clear, we are going to compare six different exercises. First up is the barbell bridge targeting gluteus maximus. I'm going to do two full repetitions and then pause where peak tension is occurring in the range of motion. With the barbell bridge, peak tension is occurring at the end of the range of motion, when gluteus maximus is relatively short. For pure muscular growth, this exercise would not be one of my top choices. Next up is the barbell squat, also targeting gluteus maximus. Once again, two full repetitions, and I'm going to pause where peak tension is occurring in the range of motion. With the barbell squat, peak tension is occurring in the bottom of the range of motion, which is actually the start of the repetition. In this position, gluteus maximus is relatively long, so for muscular growth, this is definitely a top choice. Next up is the cable fly, targeting the muscle fibers of pectoralis major. Once again, I'm going to do two repetitions and pause where peak tension is occurring in the range of motion. With the cable fly, peak tension is occurring relatively late in the range of motion when the muscle fibers of pectoralis major are relatively short. For me, this is not a great exercise if you're targeting muscular growth. Next up is the dumbbell fly, once again targeting the muscle fibers of pectoralis major. Two repetitions and a pause where peak tension is occurring in the range of motion. With the dumbbell fly, peak tension is occurring at the start of the range of motion when the muscle fibers of pectoralis major are relatively long. This makes the dumbbell fly an excellent choice for muscular growth. Next up is the dumbbell row, targeting the muscle fibers of latissimus dorsi. Once again, I'm going to do two full repetitions and pause where peak tension is occurring in the range of motion. With the row, 
Peak tension actually occurs at the end of the range of motion when the muscle fibers of the lats are actually relatively short. For that reason, the row would not form the foundation of a muscular growth program. Last up is the chin up, still targeting the muscle fibers of latissimus dorsi. Once again, two reps and a pause when peak tension occurs in the range of motion. With the chin up, peak tension occurs at the midpoint of the range of motion, when the muscle fibers are still relatively long, especially as compared to the row. For that reason, the chin up would, would definitely be a cornerstone exercise for a muscular growth program targeting the lats.